Well, hello there. Are you back again? What lesson are we on? Uh, lesson four. Yeah. Oh, you look a bit sleepy as well. Wake up. Wake up now. Yeah. Lesson lesson four of how to be vegan, right? About being vegan. So this lesson, lesson four, be all about the how, right? The how. Yeah, okay. Now, it'd be really easy these days. So easy, really. I don't know why you're even sitting here. Because you probably already know how, don't you? But anyway, you're watching it, so maybe you do need a bit of few tips. Now, I, I would say to you, really, ooh, look at the mess in here. I would, I would, uh, I would say to you, if you were starting right from scratch, yeah, best thing is to take you and your family to a veg fest. Because that will give you hope. Right, because Veg Fest is like is like Nirvana for vegans, right? And it's got like everything, anything you could think of. It's all there, right? And there's all these people about going about talking to you and showing you how easy it is, right? And all foods, different foods to try. So that's a really good first step. There's a Veg Fest there. I would say to you if you've got a Veg Fest near you somewhere then go to veg fest because that will blow your mind you'll be going even vegans right who go there and uh who've been vegan a long time oh i never knew they did that oh that's amazing oh that's fantastic oh i wish i'd have had this 20 years ago when i'd be a vegan and all that sort of stuff right it's just oh whoa wow this is amazing right so that would be my tip number one how is if you're gonna that's where to start now the other place, good place to start on the how, is to go to your local health food shop, your natural product shop, you know, like somewhere like Whole Foods um, Market or somewhere like that, or health food, your local independent health food shop, and speak to them there, right? And they'll be showing you all the different vegan cheeses and vegan ice cream, vegan chocolate, vegan uh, smoked salmon, vegan sausages, vegan burgers, vegan fish, vegan... You know, sometimes they sell clothes as well, vegan cosmetics, they'll tell you about everything, really. So that's another good place to start on a how. But basically, right, the, the, the easiest way is just to start one meal at a time, okay? Because the, you're probably wondering what this here is doing here, right? I just want to talk to you about... Now, you probably think, right, you might think, you might not think, you might think it's a bit strange, that sort of thing, it's a bit strange. Well, it's supposed to be strange, right? Because after the age of five, right, you lose the enzyme to drink milk. Yeah, and that's why 75, 8% of the world, they're, they have a, a digestive intolerance to milk, you know, they're intolerant to the to the lactose in it and intolerant to the protein in it yeah you think that's strange right from an adult that's not actually booby milk that's actually coconut milk in there actually that's what, coconut milk yeah but you might think that's strange but think how strange it would be to be lying underneath a cow sucking on its udder that now that's strange that's bestial that is almost bestial You'd be right, weirdo, wouldn't you? If you were, you weren't seen. Somebody saw you in a field sucking on a cow's udder. Yeah. Very normal to drink your mother's milk when you're a little baby. Same as it's normal for a little baby cow to drink its mother's milk when it be a little baby. Once you've grown up, right? Then you could try almond milk, oat milk, hazelnut milk, soya milk, rice milk, hemp milk, coconut milk. I mean, just there's loads of them. You order in the supermarket now, and there's just a whole array of them. And then all the cheeses and the cream and the everything, ice cream, all made out of it. Yeah, cashews. Anyway, so yeah, it's really easy now. And how? I mean, you don't even need to. Sometimes for most stuff, you don't even need to go to uh, a supermarket. I mean, a special health foodie shop because even a supermarket's got like a massive choice now. Of stuff you know you know, the freezer section they got bits of chopped up vegan chicken put in your stir fries and whatever you know uh, 
I went into Ikea the other day, I had vegan caviar, I kid you not, vegan caviar, I go with your vegan champagne, right? Just everything, but yeah, so if you just start one meal at a time, right? So you say, right, normally on a Tuesday, I have uh, spaghetti bolognese, for instance, or lasagna or something like that, right? Or shepherd's pie, right? And you think, right, well, most of it, most of it's all vegan ingredients, you know? Okay, so sort of egg pasta, you might have to get a non-egg pasta, but that's easy, you know? So, um, yeah, all you got to do, when you look at it, when you break it down, all you got to do is you got to take the, the mints, the beef mints, no. You don't buy that, and instead of that, you buy veggie mints, yeah? Vegan, vegan, plant-based mints. Yeah, tastes the same. Yeah, work with it the same, fries the same, cook it the same, you know. And you just put that in your recipe. So, right, that's, I mean, a good part of you like our lot and our family. Mints is a big part of a lot of meals. So, all you got to do is, I mean, that, how easy is that? Just instead of buying and putting the beef mints in, and it don't, uh, veggie, the thing about veggie mints, there are absolutely no horse in it, okay? So, none of that horse lasagna. And then, okay, if you want a bit of cheese on the top, well, there's, there's, I don't know, even a supermarket sell vegan cheese now, and it melts and everything. So, you're laughing, or else I'll, I've got a recipe somewhere, I'll tell you. It'll email me, or Facebook me, or Twitter me, and I'll, I'll point you in the direction of the recipe for making your own uh, cheese for putting on top of pizzas and things. That pizza is another one. That's easy, isn't it, really? Yeah, because all you got to do is get a vegan cheese, put that on top. You got pizza, you can get vegan chorizo, vegan sausage, and all that sort of stuff, if you like a meaty pizza, or stuff like that. So yeah, take it one one meal at a time, and then all of a sudden you find you've got all these different recipes that you've no longer got meat and cheese in, uh, you know, stuff, and uh, you'll find that you're vegan anyway, won't you? Uh, and it's all your breakfasts, you know, I don't know what you have for breakfast, but there'll be a vegan equivalent of it, and uh, your dinner, and I mean, I mean there are people like this, what's that, that fella from New York who's saying that, uh, Vegan before six, that's healthy, right? So you, you're vegan all day long until you get to, to going out at night, right? Well, to me, I mean, that's good. Don't get me wrong, you know, even if you're vegan for just one meal a day, right? Or one meal a week, that's better than not doing vegan at all, okay? Yeah, that's better than not bothering in the slightest little bit, okay? So if that's the most you can do, then fine. You know, I shake your hand, it's better than doing nothing, right? Because a lot of people don't do nothing, nothing at all. You don't do nothing for the environment, don't do nothing for their health, and you don't do nothing for the animals. So even if you're just doing one meal a week, if you know you're doing that sort of meat-free Monday thing, right? Well done, shake your hand, yeah, that's better than doing nothing. But yeah, that sort of vegan, I'll tell you what I was thinking, you know, when he came out with this um, uh, vegan before six, I was thinking, what's well, a bit like, uh, not smoking before six, yeah? Oh, I don't have any cigarettes before six o'clock and then I smoke old packet, yeah? That's, you know, you know what I mean? You know, if you're gonna do it, you know, go in that direction, yeah? But still, you know, every little step's a good step, you know? Doing something is a lot better than doing nothing. Anyway, so is there anything, uh, how? Yeah, basically, ask people. And the internet is full of stuff and if there's something you really like and you can't find it in the shops a vegan version you know I don't know what you're into really but believe me I'm sure it is a vegan version there's the weirdest things out there they've got vegan versions on believe me I, once you start looking it will blow your blooming mind I, I, how they come up with these things I really don't know you know you wouldn't think there's a market but they are you know if you can't find it in the shops Facebook me, Twitter me, whatever, or look on the internet and I'm sure you'll find a vegan version of it. You know, like I said, caviar, smoked salmon, all sorts of pleather things. There was some really funny things on the internet you can buy that are vegan versions of uh, stuff that wouldn't be vegan normally. And yeah, and cosmetics, and you buy it in the supermarket, and household sort of goods. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, and there's, there's, you know, go to the vegan society. 
now we know all lists of things of how and lists of products you can get and uh, yeah anyway that's basically the how like you said any any questions I haven't answered and I've forgotten about any sort of burning things you think uh, I wish he told me about that just Twitter me or Facebook me and, you know Captain James T Cook at your service and uh, Pirate of the Caribbean and I'll, uh, I'll I'm sure we can help you well, if I don't know you know if I think well, really that's what you're into then I'll, I'll point in the direction of somebody who probably does know, you know, big and sorry, they're pretty, pretty good, you know, and, uh, anyway, I mustn't keep you, because I know you're busy, right, and, um, yeah, 